Derek here, just wanted to drop a quick little video to show you something in Premiere Pro that I find very useful. So we're working in the project panel and I'm going to open up this footage bin and I'm going to show you a keyboard shortcut that I set up in my keyboard shortcut preferences. I set up option one and when I do that, it shows me a small column view with the metadata column called proxy status that shows me whether or not clips have proxies attached. If I hit option two, it's gonna show me all of my clips in large thumbnail view, and then I can easily scrub through them like that. This is all in part due to something that I just learned about. Underneath this hamburger menu right here, and you pull down to save as new view preset. So this has become very, very useful in my day-to-day -day editing in Premiere Pro. If you haven't figured it out already, let me show you how to do this. Let's set up our project panel how we want it. Let's say we want kind of medium thumbnails like this. Then you go to the hamburger menu right here and you pull down to save as new view preset. Type in whatever you want for the name. I'm gonna call it medium preset. And I'm going to underneath keyboard shortcuts right here, I'm gonna pull down to project view preset three. Hit okay. Now, underneath Premiere Pro, let's go to our keyboard shortcuts, choose that. And in the search bar, I'm gonna type in view preset. This should show us our restore view preset commands right here. So we place that um, new preset in project view preset three. So if I select that and I go to the shortcut column here and activate it, and I type in option three. Now you can choose whatever you want. There's no restriction. I just chose option three um, as a personal preference. Hit okay. Now, if I go to option one to show me my proxy view, I get that. And if I go to option two, I get my full size thumbnails. And if I go to option three, I show medium thumbnails. And that's it. You can set up all kinds of different combinations. And I hope that makes using Premiere Pro more enjoyable for you.